And in transient congenital hypothyroidism, 10% uh, of the cases can be identified as transient. So most of these babies are already on treatment. As we discussed, we don't want to delay treatment. And when you want to uh, review this is around two to three years, unless the free T4 consistently comes high and the TSH is very suppressed, in which case we keep reducing the dose. Sometimes we go to even alternate day dose and keep them on a very low dose till they are two years. Then we stop treatment for a few days and then repeat the test to confirm if they can stop. Even in that case, we have to continue monitoring a few monthly till they are older. And the causes can be multifactorial. We have genetic and environmental conditions. Uh, perinatal goitrogens can be a factor, maternal antithyroid drugs, and uh, endemic eye deficiency can be a factor as well. So hyperthyrotropinemia is where the TSH is mildly increased and it stays on the higher side. It's often confusing in these cases what to do. Uh, there are a few studies which have looked at outcome in such babies and a higher proportion of babies with this condition have clinical hypothyroidism later on. And developmental assessment of these babies has shown that if the TSH tends to be high for a longer time, uh, the development may be slightly different on the lower side in uh, IQ range compared to the normal baby. So this is something we need to uh, watch carefully and so we shouldn't ignore it at the same time. The difference is not very huge so we should be careful about over treating as well. So it can be related to congenital developmental anomalies like hemiagenesis or hypoplasia where the thyroid is compensating. So this is subclinical hypothyroidism. You may have congenital conditions like Down syndrome or Williams syndrome and it may be an SGA baby. You may have mutations in the proteins involved in TSH action, TSH receptor and uh, thyroid peroxidase mutations and uh, subclinical hypothyroidism may develop later also. So if you have identified it, you monitor these children even if you don't start treatment once in three months or so. So investigate the causative factors. Consider treatment if TSH remains persistently above 20, for example, even if the T4 is uh, normal, especially if the T4 is on the lower side. The AAP guideline defines treatment for all babies with TSH persistently over 10 after the first two weeks. So this is an option as well. But uh, if you are planning to repeat after 7 to 10 days in these babies to see the trend that is acceptable as well. However, if it is persistently abnormal beyond 21 days to uh, beyond that stage, you would start treatment. If not treated, the free T4 and TSH should be repeated in 2 to 4 weeks and treatment should be initiated promptly if they have not normalized. So there is no consensus on treatment between 6 and 10 and I personally don't treat these babies. I keep an eye on these.